Okay, so today we are taking, making note cards over yesterday's notes. Yesterday we talked about kinetic energy, right? Yeah. All right, so um, notebook, uh, your notebook should be open to yesterday's notes. Your notebook should be open to yesterday's notes. You don't have a whole lot to write about kinetic energy. So while you are doing that, tomorrow we will have lab. We will do it in the classroom. So you can uh, dress however you want as long as it's school appropriate. Uh, Monday, I haven't decided yet if I want to go ahead and go into thermal energy or if we're going to work on math problems on Monday and then go into thermal energy. Okay. All right, so since yesterday the subject was kinetic energy, our first note card is going to have what written on it? Kinetic, kinetic energy. energy. Yes, so on the front of your note card, write kinetic energy. Remember, you all must be taking note cards. You must be doing your note cards because that is what your grade is. Your Bellwinger grade is for this week, except along with uh, that logic pro uh, puzzle that we did on Monday. All right, so... Read the first thing you have wrote down on kinetic energy. I already had someone raise their hand. Kinetic means motion. Kinetic means motion. Kinetic, kinetic means motion. That means something has to be what? What does motion mean? Moving. Something's moving. Does it matter what speed it's moving at? No. no. Does it matter what direction it's moving in? No. 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 It just, it's moving, right? So what do we have wrote down after, Gracie, what do you have wrote down after kinetic means motion? Um, kinetic energy is an energy possessed by an object due to its motion. Which is the definition, right? Yes, so uh, kinetic energy is the energy possessed by an object due to its motion, which means due to the way the object is moving or not, right? If it's not moving, does it have kinetic energy? No. no. What kind of energy does it have? Potential. Potential. Yes. Can you have kinetic energy and potential energy at the same time? Yes. 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 All right. Do I need to do I need to say that definition again? No. Yeah. Kinetic energy is the the energy that a object possesses while it is in motion, right? It's pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> yes, Jim. <Paul>. Because I'm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Does everybody got that down? Yeah. Yeah. Possession. Kinetic energy is the energy an object has while it's moving. If you want to leave out that big technical word in there. All right. So what's the next thing we have wrote down? In our notes, Aiden, about kinetic energy. I know that's not the only thing we wrote about it. Uh -huh. Huh? The math, the math equation. Is that what's next? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, but let's go ahead and write the math equation down. So the math okay. equation for kinetic energy is okay. KE. KE, kinetic energy, that's what the KE stands for, equals... One half mb squared. One half. Half of what? What does m stand for? Mass. Mass. That's the reason we got to know what they stand for. So it's half of mass times velocity squared. So it is written on the board if you need to look up there. Ke equals half of mass times velocity squared. So what would be the square of the velocity first? Multiply it. All right, so everybody got that? Yes, yes. Nope. Huh? Yep. Oh, I guess someone said nope. Nope. Uh, 
Tell me the thing that we have about kinetic and energy that we haven't got on our card yet that should be in your notes. No, there should be one more thing. Just the rest of the math. You don't have something before the math equation? Well, I want to see if he has it. Guys, if y'all haven't figured this out yet, the ones who aren't going, ooh, pick me, pick me, are the ones who don't take very good notes in here. And I'm trying to get them to start taking better notes. Okay? So if I keep calling, my theory is if I keep calling on them and they don't have to re read what I want, if they don't have it in their notes, maybe the next time we take notes, the bell will go off and say, oh, Miss Tina told us to write this down. I'm going to write this down in case she calls on me to read it out of my notes. I have something. It's just that handwriting. All right. Well, I'll, I'll give you time to decipher it. Something is making equals. Wait, what's the next part of that right here? I lost it. I just lost it. Uh, Miss Fielding, can you help him out? Hang on. And you really have got to try better with your handwriting. Okay? If you can't read it, nobody can read it. <laughs> Do you have something else in there for the math formula that we have on our card? Okay, is that what you guys were all having a major meltdown about? Because velocity, but we'll put velocity on its own card. All right, Miss, um, what do you have down that you're over here going ooh, ooh, ooh about? Movement is kinetic energy. But that pretty much says the same as kinetic energy is motion. But if it will help you remember that kinetic, that that means that commit that you can put that down. Movement equals. I don't think it is. I don't think it says measure. It says it equals kinetic energy, right? Movement and then the equal sign kinetic energy, which means that's what they, okay. All right. Is that everything on kinetic energy? Yes, ma'am. All right. So then the next thing we have is the definition for velocity. Jose, what do you got down for velocity? Velocity is how fast an object is moving. Yes, velocity. Velocity is how fast an object is moving. Why do we not say it's the speed of an object? <coughs> Georgie? Um, because speed is associated with fast. That's right. <sighs> Whether it's moving really, really slow or it's moving really, really fast, right? So that's the reason we uh, worded the way we worded in Miss Tina's room. The velocity is how fast something is moving, which also means how slow it's moving, right? Okay. That's the last thing we put in our notes yesterday, yes? yes. We had a, I mean, there's not a whole lot you have to know about velocity. I mean about, well, kinetic is, you know, kinetic, what is it? Well, it's anytime an object's moving, regardless of how it's moving. Uh, we have the math formula down, which is kinetic energy equals half of mass times velocity squared. And uh, we know that velocity is how fast and objects moving and that's about all there is to know about kinetic energy okay <coughs> kinetic energy is one is probably the simplest energy you will have to learn what? all you have to remember is that kinetic injury movement motion that's all you really need to know about it right. other than how to figure it if we need to figure it right because like potential energy we have potential energy and then it was broke down into two, into four forms of potential energy right Kinetic energy is just something new. Yes. Is gravitational um, energy or is it like part of a... Gravitational is actually a magnetic force that pulls down on things. And uh, when you get into eighth grade, we will go deeper into those. Okay. Any other questions? All right, so that is going to be it for today because of the Veterans Day program. I don't want our other two classes to be a day behind on notes. So y'all get a little bit of a reprieve.
So now you must be working on something that you need to do for another class. If you owe me on some, something, you work on my stuff first. Uh, you're needing notes from the other day, aren't you? Somebody that takes really good notes and you can read your handwriting. <laughs> yeah, Xander, don't go down there. <laughs> can he borrow your notes? He needs them from, uh, what day was it? Tuesday. You can use my yes, class iPad. I finished everything. Uh, uh, let me see your brains on. Hey, wait a minute, girls. Um, okay, we should not be. Why is this not shutting off? Okay.